What's up everyone, this is Mitchell here with another Logic tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over recording guitar. I am a guitar player, so I have a little bit of a little bit more experience in this than say um oh I don't know, bass guitar, drums. Uh so I, I feel like I have enough knowledge to be able to give you a video over this. And this is going to be a little bit different. As you see, I'm not sitting in front of my computer. I'm sitting in front of an amplifier. Uh, I'm going to be talking about this for about half the video. And then I'm going to be going over to my computer and reinforcing what I talk about here, over there. So um, let's get right into it. Uh, let me readjust the camera here. And yes, OK. All right. All right, so check it out. This is my box amp. Um, it is a very, I, I'd say, mid-range amp. Um, I, I've loved it. I've had it for years. Um, but when, when you start going in and recording um, anything, it, it's going to all depend on the equipment that you have. If you have a low-grade speaker, expect a low-grade recording a mid-range, a mid-grade recording, and a high, like, like expert, like, professional equipment, um, that's where you're going to get um, the kind of sound everyone is looking for. And so, me being more of a mid-range amp, I don't want you guys to expect anything amazing. Uh, it, it's going to be a mid-range sound. But you can definitely play with it to get it to sound even better. Um, so, guitar, pedal board, into my amp. And then, I'm going to be picking up my amp with a good old SM57. This is a dynamic microphone. This is, um, the best microphone, I guess you could say, for recording amp amplifiers. Just sticking in front of an amplifier. Dynamic microphones can take very loud volumes. Um, so, perfect for sticking in front of amplifiers. Um, this, this SM57, um, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's like some graphs, like a frequency graph, and it, it shows you like where most of, um, the frequencies are picked up in this, and this is mid to low range, which is exactly where, um, guitar amplifiers lie in the frequency spectrum. So, perfect for recording amplifiers. So I'm going to stick this right here. And now when you go to set this thing right in front of your amplifier to get a sound, uh, there's, there's a few things you need to know first. Um, most guitarists like their mic right up close to the amp. Like I'd say an inch away from the amp. So, let's do that. What you're going to want to do is locate the speaker. The, the, the circular speaker. It's going to be right here for my amp. There's a center circle in the speaker and you're going to want to offset it just from the center. This is going to give you a very bright tone. If you're looking for more of a um, like a, like a dull um, flat sound, you move out towards the center of the, or you move out of out towards the end of the speaker or the outside of the speaker. So you just move it away down this way, all while keeping it around an inch away from the speaker. So this is mostly going to depend on the guitarist that is recording, how exactly they want their amp to sound, um, but you, you, you also do have a say in it. Um, if, you, if you're going to be the producer of someone else's CD um, and they have no idea how to um, mic up their amp, I would say just set it um, right offset from the center. That's generally what you're going to want to do. So, review, center, bright, as you get farther out, it's going to be more of a dull, flat tone. And now, some guitarists um, don't have it right up here close to the speaker. Some like it farther away. And the farther away you get, the brighter it's going to be. So, brighter towards the center and brighter away. So if you have it right in the center and farther away, it's going to be a very bright, um, trebly sound, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, 
there you are. I mean, that's that's all you really have to take into account. There's just this this like box that you can imagine right in front of your speaker, and the point closest to the center and farthest away will be the brightest, and the point closest and farther from the center will be the most flat dull point. And you can position this anywhere in this imaginary box that we have created. So, I'm going to put it right up here close to the center. I'm going to take four recordings, one close to the center, one away from the center, all being an inch away from the speaker, and then I'm going to take two more, both away from the speaker. I'd say, uh, I'll do a foot. I'll do a foot away from the speaker, close to the center, and farther away from the center. And we will see exactly what tone each one gets, and this will help you decide where you want to be placing this microphone in front of your amp. Alright, so um, I'm just going to do a little bit more over how I'm going to get this sound into my computer. Uh, so, XLR from my SM57, it's going to snake around over to my computer. Let me grab the microphone here. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, this right here is my 8 channel um, PreSonus Fire Studio project. This is going to be what I'm going to use to get my XLR, which is right down there, into my computer. There is a FireWire output, and this is going to be my interface. Uh, I love it. Can't get anything better for the money. For show, for show. Okay, so that's how I'm going to be getting into my computer. There is my uh, input for that. So, all right. There you are. That's how I'm getting the sound from my guitar into my amp and then into my computer. Um, so let's go right into my computer here and let's start recording some stuff. All right, we're here looking at the computer now. And as you can see, I have four different guitar tracks that I took the liberty of recording just for you. Uh, so, as you can see here on the left side, I have them labeled close into the center, close into the outside, far into the center, and far and outside. And as I play through these, I want you all to imagine that horizontal imaginary box that we made um, over by my amp over there. And you will see exactly uh, how different the tones of each one of these are. Um, what I did was when I recorded these, I normalized all of them so that they should be around the same volume. And uh, there you are. I, I just used the same guitar, same settings. All I did was move the mic around. So let's play through these and see what they sound like. Alright, there you go. Uh, four completely different tones uh, from the same guitar and the same amp. And now, uh, some of you are saying, why would I ever want these two back here? Because they sound very weird and very crackly. <clears throat> um, I have these on a high distortion guitar because I feel that it is... It, 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 it brings out the different tones a little bit better than just doing a clean um, setting. So these two might sound incredible on a cleaner setting of guitar. Uh, and as you can see, that that tone that is close into the center uh, sounds very good. 
and that's what you're going to mostly be doing. Um, you would only want to tweak if uh, the guitarist doesn't like it, or if um, his settings on his amp, which he could have, he could change. But if he just doesn't want to change that, you can move the the mic wherever um, wherever you want. And so there you are, guys. That's that's pretty basically, pretty much basically what um, I do to record guitar. Once I get this guitar track down, I add a little bit of channel EQ to it, um, just to brighten up those parts um, in the spectrum where the guitars shine. And uh, and then I add a little bit of compression, and that's that's basically all that I have to do unless I want to put a little bit of reverb on it a little bit of delay uh, and some some uh, some guitarists like putting the delay in on their pedal uh, during their effects loop before they before they amp um, it, it it's honestly uh, it, it's up to whoever's wanting to record guitar so there you are. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. You know, you know, I like that stuff. So um, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.